Elijah, your first ever Premier League hat trick and the first from a Luton Town player as well. Just uh, sum that up in words. I can't, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, it's just a surreal feeling. Um, but again, I can't take all the credit. I think the boys were fantastic today. Um, everyone, even the subs, were, were phenomenal. And we were told to start sharp, and boy, did we. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, it was it, it's a great feeling for myself personally. But um, I can't, have, I wouldn't have been able to do it without those boys behind me today. You scored in less than 20 seconds, your first one. Um, was that the springboard for the rest of the game, do you think? Yeah, I mean, um, the first goal is always crucial, um, no matter what league you play in. So getting the first goal was, was obviously good, and then to get the second not long after definitely gave us a, a platform even more so. And then it was about not being complacent as, as a group, and these boys, they know not to be complacent. Um, we've been in this, well, we've been down to and then had to come back. So being in this position is obviously <laughs> unfamiliar in a way, but that's credit to the boys. They stuck at it. And then it was just about making a statement, um, going and score more. And we probably could have scored more, um, but I'm delighted and the fans were fantastic again today. Um, kept us going right into the end and they deserve that because they've been with us for uh, throughout this journey. Um, we've learnt, they've learnt. Um, and uh, they deserve that tonight. How important was your second goal as well? Because 2-0 can be a dangerous scoreline at times, but to get it right on half-time was, was massive. Yeah, I think going in 2-0, uh, you know, they could, they're going to come out and that next goal is, again, crucial because um, it either kills the game off or it allows them back in. Um, and then to go in at 3-0 was uh, kind of the icing on the cake. Um, not to say that we were going to rest on our laurels, but um, then we knew, OK, I'm going to go and score more. And um, luckily for me, it was me again. And again, just delighted, delighted with everyone. As you say, you scored that third goal not long after the half-time break. And just explain those emotions when that ball hit the net. Um, to be fair, I don't actually know much about it. It just hit me in the face, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you got to be there to score. And um, it's just about getting in there, keep getting in there. And things will fall for you. And um, a lot of t people have told me over, over my career that that's where goals are scored um, in, in the penalty box and uh, you just got to be there to, to get on the end of them and the feeling was uh, I couldn't I didn't know how to react at the time it was obviously new to me but um, yeah scoring goals is 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 one of the hardest things to do in football and I just got to knuckle down and and get ready to do it again and you have quite a great bond with the fans already with your with your song and and their love for you how loud is it when you when you got subbed off and the the whole crowd is singing your name? Yeah, again, um, unreal feeling. Uh, again, the fans were were fantastic all night, and to have that them singing at the end and singing when I came off was uh, a moment that I will cherish for the rest of my life. Go on, Morris! Go on, Morris! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> The catwalk. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs>